bother. Uh oh, guess what day it is? Yup, you guessed it. It's Friday the 13th. And to celebrate the occasion, I'm giving you guys a spooky season edition of Whose Man's Is This? And on this episode, we gotta talk about this man, Jason Voorhees, or as I like to call him, Chasing More Cheese. Because he's about his hustle, and his hustle is putting in the dirt. But I'm not gonna lie, Jason is like one of the most out of pocket slashers ever. He tries to kill people, well, not tries, he does kill people while they're while they're taking a shit in the porta potty. I think he kills the people because he can't get no hoes for real looking like that. I mean, god damn. But he's turned people into origami swans, went full caviar on a dude in a wheelchair can't even interrogate him the man already lives down but nah, i love you chill love you chill seriously because in particular i want to speak on some super felonious super violations he commits on friday the 13th part 8 jason gets dirty in manhattan super violation numero uno corburn so it starts off inside of the sauna with this dude let's call him jerry so he's trying to recover and exfoliate but jason's not on any of that and he sneaks in there and grabs a molten hot rock and he grabs it without flinching probably because his hands are so callous from all that dead skin he's got. So this dude Jerry just finished a boxing sparring match and he's talking about some, oh, sorry I had to whoop on your ass back there so bad, dude. No hard feelings, right? And Jason's just like, oh yeah. I'm about to give you a real hard feeling right now, son. Um, pause, dude. What the f are you talking about? Ah, ah, totally not choice. So he takes the molten rock and Gronk spikes it right into Jerry's abdomen. Die bow tape. Jason's gonna make sure your core gets burning, right? He's trying to move around like Ike knew with all these molten rocks. Nah, let me show. Super violation dose. Anxiety at the nightclub. So he's chasing Kelly Who, who goes on to play Lady Deathstrike in X2, as well as Devora and MK. But anyway, she sees her dead friend, No XO Tour Life, and she starts running for the Mall of Short Hills, literally putting the chase and chase and Voorhees. Running around, she eventually gets to the dance floor section of the boat, but it's looking like bad news bears because every single door in this mo is locked. And to make things worse, he's moving around like Goku when he learned instant transmission, spamming it all around the room any chance he gets. This man needs a nerf, bro. So he goes full Undertaker on her ass, revving up a two-handed choke slam. Like my boy, Paul Bearer is not coming out here to do your ad libs. But I'm not even gonna lie, this kill takes forever. Especially with how bad and low budget the movie is, you can tell they were really trying to eat up screen time. With how long it took him to strangle her, you could have booted up GTA 5 on PS4. But after he gets his shit off, he throws her to the side like a crusty sock, continuing his killing streak in the Big Apple streets. Super violation numero tres, the classic. So once they're off the boat, he starts chasing this man, Julius. Julius is running for his life. He's even trying to call 12. If he's trying to get NYPD to get him out of this jam, that's how you know he's getting desperate. So Chasen follows Julius up to a rooftop where he's got nowhere else to go. And Julius is actually a boxer. Yeah, Jerry, the guy who got Iconude, that's Julius's boy. So he's tapping into his fighter mentality, right? He's been gearing up for this moment his entire life. So he's psyching himself up. He's talking about some all right, yeah, remember the combinations, stay light on the feet. Like, boy, boy if you don't. So he starts pressing Jason ready to face the music, and he really starts hitting Jason with the combos. All right, come on, I'm start whooping on you. Mm, boom, da, da, boom, you like that? Mm, two piece, no biscuit, bitch, I ain't going out like no hook. So Julia starts spamming the same combo to the point to where his knuckles get bloody, and he realizes that he did all of that shit for absolutely no damage. Didn't even crack one plate. And after all that, Jason is standing there like, are you done? Julius accepts defeat and tells Chasen to take his best shot. Chasen says, word? Bet. Grabs him by the collar and then one fell swoop. Hits Julius with the fucking uppercut brutality from MK, AKA the classic. I told you this man was out of pocket. I actually tried to Google how much force it would take to uppercut a human head off. And the amount of force was apparently not even possible. This is still OD. But after he plays Wee Bowling with Julius' head and throws it in the dumpster, he brushes that dirt off his shoulders and continues to get sturdy in Manhattan. And I'm not gonna lie, as far as specifics, that's all I'm gonna get into today. Oh yeah, he also hates on two chains, big time in the movie. And then shows all the kids his ugly ass face to scare them. Like, bro, they were chilling in the spot, not you. But don't forget, this is all just from this one movie. I ain't even talk about the movie where he was like a devil zombie baby. I ain't talk about when he came back to the year 2040, 50 or whatever the fuck that was. And he came back as like an alien cyborg. He even ran the fade with Freddy Krueger. But that's a story for another day. Just know that this absolute menace to society has been chasing more cheese for a very long time. Proving that he is a more than suitable candidate for his induction into the Who's Man's Hall of Fame. And that about does it for today's video. But real quick. One, thanks for watching because this is going to be my new villain analysis series. Two, don't forget to like, comment, share the video, and subscribe. I know it's super YouTuber cringe, but it actually does help me out a lot, so I really would appreciate it. Trust me, because these are going to get a lot better, I swear. You don't want to miss any of them. I'm going to be getting experimental with a lot of series on the channel, and I'm going to be curious to see what people are more interested in. So let me know if you like Am I Right or Whose Man's Is This More. And that's going to wrap it up for today. Thank you for watching. Dookie TV, signing off.